Hey there, this is Double A with another WWE Supercard video for Saturday or going into Sunday. As I'm doing this right now, it's about 12.30 Sunday morning central my time. Um, bunch of things to go into with you. Um, didn't think I'd ever be doing one of these videos again as a regular video, but felt it had to be done. Uh, going to be going into Ring Domination. Not Ring Domination, Road to Glory, second part of the route, as well as a few other things. Before I get into doing an actual one, I'm going to go ahead and play around and claim it. Um, I've been doing two pointers. I got as far as Neville. I have a WrestleMania Plus Plus deck. In this, in this Road to Glory, I was able to get through Team Battleground, a couple of necessary pros, a Brock Lesnar and something else. <laughs> I forget which one it was. Um, also, I was able to get the Neville in this one. Um, with Team Battleground rewards, I was also able to get a SummerSlam 17 Samoa Joe card. So I added that into it. So everything helped me out. But with it, I only got as far I hit the wall at 174 points into Neville. Once again, that's 174 points. So I've been doing two pointers. So let's see here. 250 minus 174. That is 76. Uh, 290 on top of that. So basically... 300 and round of points about 370 380 points of that i've played about 190 games give or take of two pointers nothing but two pointers to get to this point because basically i'm in some i'm in wrestlemania plus plus mode and since i've been away from the game for so long um the only thing that would have bumped me up into SummerSlam. Would have been a women's wrestler, and I only have Naomi. So, if I got anything else, then I'd still be languishing. And I'm hoping that through this, I'm able to get into SummerSlam, get my pull, and go on with everyone else. So, I'm going to go ahead and play a play around here. Then, at some point, we're going to pause this. Going to go away and train this. And then see what exactly happens in terms of getting my pole. I've learned with this, you could just keep backing out until you find one with the deck that you want, that you want to play against. So I'm going to choose Guillaume for that. So yeah, I am more than thrilled and kind of exhausted to get to this point. Because personally, I didn't think I'd ever get to it. A lot of things going on. A lot of things that I thought would have happened but didn't that allow me to play this. I'll explain all those later on in the video. Probably in the second half after break. But all I can say is if you think you're going to go for it, go for it. Because once you get to that, once you get to a certain point, then you basically that option of either quitting or just plowing away so in this particular case I just plowed away and plowed away and plowed away and I'm gonna be going away with my first playoff not playoff my first SummerSlam event card wasn't able to get the angle but I am able to get this so And the funniest thing I've noticed is that, is that the opponent usually will proc more than anything. Or you get to a point to where you desperately need wins. And what happens is they put your, instead of like putting in a tag team where you know it might win, they separate you into losing battles and then, well, you know.
So basically 76 points later, 290 points later, we finish this up. And we collect Bobby Roode in Road to Glory. And right now, I'm so glad to be able to now get back to playing regular games and no longer Road to Glory. As much as I love the mode, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my picks. Nothing of note. So yeah, that is going to be it for me for this first part. I'm going to join back up you with the second part later. Talk to you then. And just to add, it could be either tomorrow or tonight. Might fall asleep. So you might notice, you might see a very noticeable pause or a difference in tone, but I will definitely come back at you with the second half. Bye for now. Okay, I'm returning after a long pause. Nights passed. I got some sleep. Uh, did some training this morning. Got both roots up and going. So now I'm going to merge them on this video. And then we'll see if I could get into SummerSlam tier. Make sure that I have everything trained appropriately before going any further. Because there's been moments where I thought, wait a sec, never mind. Gonna have to come back to you later. <laughs> Bye for now. Okay, I am back after some training of that card. A bit embarrassing, but a nice learning, nice learning lesson, nice teaching lesson, or availability, or whatever I'm trying to say here. Always make sure that both cards are filled before you combine them. Otherwise, you might lose out on some goodies. So. We are going to go ahead and get this merged. Well, let's triple check so I'm not looking stupid again. Once again, teaching opportunity. So that, that, that's full. That's full. Combine. Let's do it. First playoff event card. Bobby Roode taken care of. So... Now we just need to add some stuff in here. Get myself up to, well, first off, let me show you a quick way to get your rumble, get your cards trained up. And that's in the rumble aspect. There was a time which Royal Rumble didn't train up cards at all. Now it does. So basically you punch, you put in however many you need for your card. Usually if you go around, depending on where you're at, you get you trained up really quick. Um, you might have to wait a few a bit for it because sometimes that car that you need to train shows up at the end So you're doing like a lot of commons over and over again, but eventually your card to get trained and you're set to go So now I'm gonna go ahead since I've trained my card up. I'm gonna go ahead and hit autofill It's going to release those cards back so I could train those so I could basically use them as training food for for my cards and so, yeah, I sh I sh this, this should be definite. I should be able to get into SummerSlam tier with this. I'm hoping anyway. Just checking as I go. I hope you're doing well in your quest for Root if you're going for him. Oh, close. 
Getting close. Getting close. There we go. SummerSlam 17 tier, finally. I'm um, gonna train him up later. But first we're going to go ahead and get a match underway. So we could claim the my freebie, my entry tier freebie. Pretty stoked about this. Here's that. You might see a free ad real quick here. If I have to do it anyway. So yeah, enjoy this video presentation for 30. So this is unsponsored. But NFLPA has, looks like, a rotisserie program, draft football program. We can compete against your friends and other players. Compete your way to win cash prizes in DraftKings. Will you draft the winning team? <laughs> might as well promote might as well promote here. But unsponsored. I currently have seven SummerSlam 17 cards. The chances of getting a pro are kind of slim. But we shall see. Looks like I'm going to have to play another car, another thing here real quick. This is going to be a very long video. This much I know. Because it's something I have to discuss at the end. So hang on. So like I said, I have seven cards, chance of proing is slim, but it would be interesting to start off SummerSlam here with two pro cards to kick it off. Okay. So we're going to watch another video here. Let me see. Scatter slots, best slot game deck, stunning graphics, choose your destiny, 10 free spins at times, regular updates. Um, let's see here. Huge variety. Win your money, win your crystals. There's massive payouts. As always in good slots, we get big wins. And that is Scatter Slots Free Fun Casino. So we got our four draft picks. Kevin Owens, not a pro, but good addition to the deck. Kevin Owens was my free SummerSlam preview, free beat here, which is cool. And there you go. So, I'm um, going to get into a different aspect here. I've achieved the the big 3-0 completion thing. Happy about that. Um, so, yeah. I mentioned them the last time. I'm going to go into a little bit more in depth this time around. I When I came back to the game, I was looking for a team to be on. And I was in WrestleMania at the start of it. And everyone in here is into SummerSlam here. Never let people say that you can't get into a higher tier other than what you have. Because you may find teams out there that that may take you in and set you on and help guide you through and get you to where you need to be. So, Viperville took me on. Before I go, before I go into that... Let me open up my Twitter real quick here. Show you how this all started in a sense. 
So in any case, I put a thing out on Twitter looking for a team. I was kind of honest with what I was looking for, WrestleMania 33, but SummerSlam 17, if you if you were willing to carry me. This team that, I was on, that I'm on now took that chance. Uh, you got to contribute, though. You got to contribute a little bit more than usual. But uh, but basically, they'll keep you on. You'll grow your deck. It'll allow me to make pros, allow me to get cards, to bump myself up to being able to go for root in ring domination and go on to do, do Road to Glory. So in any case, I put a call out there. Charlie, Mar Charlie you can follow her on Twitter, Charlie Marie 128 retweeted me. And basically, I got on an excellent team based on... So yeah, a member by the name of Danny Cullington. Danny, you can follow him on Twitter as well, at Danny Cullington. Um, he invited me on his team. And basically been on them for about three weeks or so. Doing very well there. So in terms of the team aspect, get back into the game real quick. While this thing reloads. So yeah, like I said, I'm on Viperville with such great members as Jamie, who's the owner. Uh, we have Dan the Jericho fan, Mr. Awesome One, Achille, you have me, Carnal Carnage, Fizzoid, Funky Fresh, and Jamoy. Bunch of great guys who put in the work most times. Well, all the time, I should say. Um, a lot of the team is overseas, some are in the States, but I'm glad to be on this team. Be on as long as they'll have me. So, so there it goes with that. And speaking of community, I've always talked about the power of community, whether it be in gaming or in real life or things of that nature. It's going to give me a chance to talk about what's going on right now. As of this recording, there is a hurricane going on. Um, we had Hurricane Harvey hitting Texas recently and now we have hurricane irma which is running ragged over the state of florida uh took care pretty much headed over some islands as well we also have hurricane jose 2 going on so yeah there's been there's a lot of people affected out there a lot of people affected out there if you're in the states have to stay firm with the community because Basically, there's going to be people in Florida, in those areas that's going to need help, that's going to need our strength to get through. If you're looking at it from a worldwide state, worldwide basis, um, you're going to look at all those people on the islands that were affected, places like Cuba, Haiti, Barbuda, Antigua, the Caribbean, um, lots of places out there devastated by the effects of the recent hurricanes. So we got to keep the we got to keep in community so we can have strength for those people going through those rough times it's all about community if you don't have community you're kind of lost but with it you could go far so my heart my prayers my thoughts are going to go out to everybody that's affected down there those that had more better things to do or more important things to do than go for cards or or play games they're dealing more with with loss of life, loss of property, just loss of that stability and security that they had before all the hurricanes happened. So with that said, that is going to be it for me today. Um, come at you with another video somewhere down the line. I'm not sure. But until next time, this is Double A with WW Supercard saying see you next time. And so long from ringside. Goodbye, everybody.